Uh, yeah. So sir, the problem was that in DILR, uh, so you, there are usually five sets. Now the thing is, uh, I usually attempt the sets which have four questions because I have seen that they are simpler. And so I'm able to attempt more sets. But now I have reached a stage where I'm just able to attempt those three sets which have four questions. After that, I don't have time left. So I'm able to do 12 questions only, which reaches my score to 36. So that has put an upper limit on my score. I tried in recent mocks to increase my speed, but in the end, I have barely two, three minutes left. So in that, uh, in the remaining other two sets, which are five questions each, in the uh, integer type questions, I sometimes make educated guesses because it's, there is no negative marking. So that's the only way I'm able to increase my score. How to increase the number of sets that I, I am attempting. Uh, what I'll tell you is this, okay. LRDI, like you know, and I tell many times, LRDI section I take very, very like carefully. I don't try to like uh, push myself too much because if it goes wrong, it can go very wrong. In my opinion, if you're consistently getting three sets correct, you are definitely on the right track. Just continue to solve more sets, okay. Secondly, I don't know when you first started taking CAT, but if you have taken CAT when there were six questions, okay, and four questions, there used to be like uh, a few years back, six question sets and four question sets. That the difference is much more as compared to five questions and four questions. Five questions and four questions, I would just say, because we also make LRDA sets, they are of similar difficulty level. It is just that one more additional question is added. Okay. So I would not differentiate a lot uh, just on the pure skill uh, or time that is needed to solve a five question set or a four question set. In fact, I would advise you to not even look uh, at how many questions are there in a particular set. Just look at the set, try to figure out what is the type of set it is. Is it a set you want to attempt first or not? The number of questions should not matter in five and four. In four and six, which was the case like I think two years back, there was a difference. But in five and four, there is not a lot of difference. That is the first uh, thing. Second thing is don't over push yourself. If you're getting three sets correct, you are on the right track. Just continue solving more and more LRDS sets and hope that on the day of the examination, the sets are easier. Like I mentioned earlier, focus on uh, picking the right sets. That I think is more important. If you want to be ambitious, be ambitious in verbal, be ambitious in quant. They try to push yourself more and more and more. In LRDA, I would tell you, don't over push yourself because then you will have a lot of pressure on that day. If you get stuck in the first set, you will just feel like terrible. That shouldn't happen. You should feel happy that you got three sets correct. And obviously you should go for more. I'm not saying that be satisfied and don't attempt anything. But psychologically, if you're getting three sets correct in LRDI, you are already doing extremely well. That is not a low hanging fruit. Okay, this is what I would tell you. I don't know whether you will be happy with this advice or not, but that is what I would, uh, because even on that day, I don't look for solving more than three sets. But I normally tend to do more than three sets. But on the day of the examination, when I'm going there, I genuinely tell myself that if I'm getting three sets correct, I have done a very good job.